<coughs> scores of paper come out showing that mercury <coughs> inhibits, you know, a lot of diverse things, color blindness, hearing loss, uh, key enzymes that are in the blood-brain barrier, key, key cells are, uh, are hyperactivated that can cause uh, brain inflammation. All of these papers keep coming out. They're all from foreign countries because you can't get funded to, to do mercury research in the United States. And I would challenge anybody to prove different to me. If you go and you just do a Google search and put down mercury toxicity, eliminate methyl mercury from fish, which we beat to death in this country, but look at the, the effect of mercury and the toxicity of dental amalgams, any studies on it, they will almost all be done by foreign uh, uh, research groups. We do not support people. And within the research community, <clears throat> people know that if you want to do a publication or get a grant from the NIH that will uh, test the, the safety of mercury exposures at low levels, you will not get funded. I mean, you can go to the CRISP database system and try to find this research. And I have challenged people at the uh, NIH to prove to me that they support that kind of research. And this one uh, study section head who was telling me they did, I, I sat there and listened to her click on her computer. She said, oh, it'll be here. Oh, the toxicity testing will be here. She couldn't find it. Now, there is a little bit, but it's very little. Most of it went to dental schools and resulted in no publications, which is a tremendous waste of taxpayer dollars because they're not qualified to do that type of research anyway. 